Okay, I'm back with another unboxing video. Today's is slightly different because usually I have the privilege of unboxing the new iPhone when it comes out every fall. Uh, but today I purchased an iPhone 13 mini refurbished and um, I've actually already opened this up. I purchased it uh, refurbished from the Amazon refurbished store. Uh, there's many different sellers on Amazon. I happen to purchase mine through Woot, which I think is actually owned by Amazon, and it was shipped uh, you, uh, by Prime Shipping uh, from Amazon as well. So I got a 256 gigabyte green iPhone 13 mini. The condition was listed as refurbished excellent. I know Amazon also has a version that they sell called uh, a renewed premium. And I think for that, they kind of guarantee that physically the device is going to look indistinguishable from new and will have a guaranteed 80% battery life. But this one was a decent price. It was $430. And I wanted to purchase it for a couple of reasons. One, to see what it's like to purchase on Amazon's refurbished store, because usually I'll buy a new iPhone, like I mentioned, or you know I might buy it secondhand from Marketplace where you can see the device in hand. Uh, but I wanted to see what the refurbished Amazon would look like. And uh, there's some reasons why I wanted to try the 13 mini, even though I've been very happy with the 15 Pro. I've had the 13 mini before, I've even had the 12 mini before, very briefly before selling it to get the max version. So anyway, uh, I've actually already unboxed this device yesterday. I've used it for 24 hours. Uh, I did do an unboxing video, but unfortunately my microphone to the camera wasn't connected properly, so there is no audio on that. So I'm just going to show what the unboxing is like. As you can see, it just comes in a generic smart device box, and I will show you the contents. Inside there's a little bit of paperwork, a little congratulations pamphlet, and some warranty information, device setup information. Then you have the phone itself fitted into this plastic uh, eggshell kind of container. We'll set that aside for a second. We have, of course, the USB-A to lightning cable that they include. All of these are aftermarket accessories, of course. Uh, it's kind of nice that Amazon includes a wall plug in case you need that. This looks to be like a five watt wall plug. So Apple no longer includes that, but uh, if you buy it refurbished, Amazon does. And they even included a SIM eject tool, which was nice of them. And that's all that there is in the packaging. So of course, you don't know exactly what you're gonna get when you buy Amazon refurbished. Um, I did see reviews online. Some people uh, got some devices that had, you know, maybe 85% battery health, 83% battery health, and the phones showed some damage. But I'm happy to report that the iPhone mini that I got is mostly indistinguishable from new, which is pretty great. Um, you know, there are no scratches on the camera ring, uh, none really on the bottom by the lightning port or on the side where the power button is and the 5G millimeter wave antenna, none on the top or even on the side with the volume buttons and the mute switch. Uh, I did notice a minor nick somewhere here in the front of the frame. Ah, uh, yeah, right over there if my camera can focus. There you can kind of see the silver underneath the green aluminum peeking through. And I believe there was maybe one somewhere over here, but physically it looks great. And of course, as you can see in the video, I have a matte screen protector on, which um, I went with the matte one that I use for my iPad Pro from Matka. I'll put a link in the description because um, it's part of the motivation why I got the 13 mini. Um, I kind of wanted to replicate the experience of having a an e-ink device um, to kind of... Uh, uh, I guess um, help myself do some more reading and kind of mimic having a Kindle, maybe a Kindle Paperwhite or a Books Pommel, which was kind of the inspiration. Um, and maybe I'll get into more of why I got the 13 mini a couple of years later uh, as I go through the video. Uh, the only kind of thing that I did notice, and I'm going to try to get it on the camera here, is that the speaker hole grill and the microphone grill, usually there is a silver mesh lining, which is there, but it looks like they're kind of dented in a little bit or poked in. I get the feeling that um, Woot or whoever refurbished the phone, maybe they dug a toothpick in there or something to kind of clean out the speaker holes. So it looks like it's poked in a little bit. Um, that's my only kind of area of minor concern because uh, I'm not sure how that will affect the water resistance of the device, but 
Overall, I'm not really too concerned about that at all. And the only other kind of thing that I'll mention is that the earpiece grill, when I originally unboxed it yesterday, did have some uh, dirt and grime in it, which I did my best to kind of clean out using alcohol swabs, but looks like I kind of have to continue doing that and uh, do a better job. So as I'm talking, I'm going to power it on. And um, yeah, overall, physically, I was very happy with what I received, especially for the price. Um, as like I said, you can go through Swappa and other retailers. But the nice thing about Amazon, of course, is that they have a pretty generous return policy. And it's easy to it's easy for me just to head over to a UPS store and drop it off or um, Kohl's locations and things like that. In case there's any issues with the device, for refurbished devices, for most of them, you have 90 days to return. So I felt kind of confident in that sense to um, order it from Amazon. And uh, like I said, I've been very happy with it. And I'm going to show what the battery health is on this particular device. It is 93%, which I am very happy with. 93% uh, battery health for a phone that's been out for two years. I don't know, obviously, how many users, owners this phone has had prior to it ending up in my hands. But to me, that's practically new. I would say the phone is like 95% of a new phone for a much, much cheaper price. So I'm very happy with Amazon refurbished and also happy with using the phone after uh, 24 hours. Uh, I guess as like a little mini review. Uh, the 15 Pro Max has been a tremendous device. Um, great screen, great battery life. You can use it all day, every day. I watch so much YouTube so much TikTok, and I think that's kind of where uh, smartphones have gone to. Um, you know, rather than, you know, messaging, of course, is a huge part of it, and it's important to be able to make calls, but I think so much of what most people use their phones for is content consumption. You know, if you're, whether you're on Instagram, to watch images, so look at images, um, even pictures that you yourself take. If you have a phone with a larger screen, you have a bigger canvas to look at those. And myself, I watch so much YouTube, of course, and TikTok. <laughs> Probably, I spend over an hour a day on TikTok for sure because I set a one hour time limit on TikTok and almost every day I'm hitting that time limit. So in that sense, the 15 Pro has been the perfect device. But I am kind of starting to, I was starting to feel that it was almost too perfect. And that's why I wanted to experiment with the 13 mini uh, to introduce some friction <laughs> towards using the device. Of course, there is a limitation with the battery being smaller, so it's not going to be as great for watching videos all day. But also, I wanted a device that just, you know, added a little bit of friction to uh, watching social media. And uh, and yeah, that's that's really the main motivation. So in that sense, in the first 24 hours, it's been great. Um, I've kind of been intentionally reading some more on Kindle. And with the matte screen protector, I can show you that um, it does kind of look a little bit like e-ink. It's not a true one-to-one -one because, of course, you do have the brightness of the display shining through. But I put a little hack where in my control center... I have the accessibility feature to do color invert, which turns the phone black and white. And as you can see over here, when it's in grayscale and you have the matte screen protector on, it even more to me looks a little bit like a Kindle um, Paperwhite or any other e-ink device, um, which is what I was kind of tempted to go to. I was thinking about purchasing a single purpose device like a Kindle Paperwhite, which is you know about $190 for the... Um, the highest end version. And then I saw that there's a Books Palma, which I really like because it's a smartphone size device with an e-ink display running Android. And I thought, that's great, you know, um, but now that device is going into the, uh, I think it's maybe $280 or something like that. So you're approaching smartphone prices. So I thought to myself, instead of buying a Books Palma, why don't I look at a refurbished 13 mini? And I was initially looking at a 128 gigabyte one, which was uh, $350, uh, which is not that much more than the Books Palma. So you can kind of see how uh, 
<laughs> how the price ladder, I started climbing the price ladder. Um, and then ultimately I ended up with the 256 gig because I know in my 15 Pro, even after deleting all my photos, backing up and deleting all my photos, I still had about 90 gigs or 100 gigs of uh, storage. So I thought, you know what, why don't I spend up for the 256 gig? And I'll see if it's a device that I can use over the next month or two um, as a way to kind of... Uh, deprogram the dopamine addiction of being on social media and to kind of help myself focus more on reading the Kindle books that I've had on the back burner. So anyway, that is the uh, unboxing experience of Amazon Refurbished and kind of my first 24 hours thoughts on the 13 mini in 2024, what it's been like to use. It's been pretty great other than of course, you know, the battery life not being that great. I haven't had any problems adjusting to the smaller size. I actually kind of prefer it to read because if you're uh, lying in bed reading sideways, it's a lot easier to just swipe through your pages in your Kindle book and to read sideways than it is having a heavier device. Even the Kindle Paperwhite is kind of wide, um, so it was a little bit difficult to read in bed. I did own a Paperwhite before, as a side note. I only had it for a month or two, and then on my very first flight, I... Uh, left it on the flight and lost it, and I never ended up uh, replacing it. So, uh, yeah, that's the motivation for the 13 Mini. Uh, I would recommend, you know, um, if you are budget-minded, I've seen other refurbished devices on Amazon for pretty good prices. Uh, of course, you know, you are taking a gamble on what the condition will be like, but uh, I've had a good experience with mine, and um, yeah, I would recommend it if anyone is considering it, especially because of that generous return policy. I would just pay attention to who the seller is because there's all different kinds of sellers. Uh, Woot was a name that I recognized, and I know on Amazon Premium, um, if you purchase in a premium refurbished, Amazon works with a retailer, um, or it might even be from Amazon, you know, sold by Amazon themselves. So um, I would kind of avoid avoid some certain third-party sellers just because uh, I think you might have more difficult of a time returning it. So anyway, yeah, I'm rambling a little bit now, but uh, that's my unboxing and uh, initial impressions of the 13 Mini in 2024. Hope that helps some of you out there. Thanks for watching.